Frangela V. Shelby. And her very best friend, Frances Calgary. And we are Frangela. And welcome to another episode of Frangela's Idiot of the Week. Week, 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 week. That's right. You find the stupid army of the anti dom and we make fun of it. We make fun of it. And then at the end of the week, we crown the Idiot of the Week. Week, week, week. Which, let me tell you, it's already a stiff competition and we're only on the second day. I know. Then there's some, look, look. There's some good look. ones. If you don't normally see it every day, there's some good ones in this stack. Okay. I think I, when I put my chair down lower so it would be the same height, I didn't account for your hair. <laughs> you know what? I, let me tell you, daily, daily, she gives me stuff about my I'm hair. a lot taller than Francis. You don't know that because I'm kind enough to She's lower a foot my taller, state. almost a foot taller than me. Almost. Yeah, but your hair is like a whole other. <laughs> a whole other. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Okay. At least at least it was, I'm sorry. Next um, <laughs> Next up. I am kick your ass. Shy, shy. Kick Next up, <laughs> first up, this is from Captain El Haitiano. Thank you as always, yes. Captain. China. Yes. Now we all know when it's China, stupid, mm. it's super size. It is super size. <laughs> I don't know what they got going on over there. And wrong, and there are at least a thousand people watching. Yes, and and there's usually melamine uh, involved. There's some, there's some kind of thing going yes. on. All I'll right. Tell you something later. I don't even. Um, Okay, I'll just say that it's weird. Basically, this man's penis was stolen. Yes. Okay. What happened? I don't was, know how to else. Well, can it. you say stolen if he's never going to get it back? Yeah, that's stolen. Yeah, that's stolen. Yeah. I mean, right. it wasn't borrowed. No. If that's what you mean. It wasn't it wasn't <laughs> okay. He hasn't gotten it back yet. So, Fei Lin is a 41 year old man who was suspected of having affairs. Suspected. We have no proof. With several married women in his village. Okay. Can I ask what makes a village a village and not a city? Yes. I think if you have less than a million people. They call you a village? In in, in China, it's a village. And I'm not kidding because. Uh, because I'm like, in, how like remote in is this? Right. It's you know? remote. But it may, but it could still, it could have thousands of people. Well, that's the thing. Like, there are towns, we know people who've been, uh, towns that have 500 people in them, but they yeah. still get called a city. That's right. You know, right. but you get out this country, we start calling people places villages. If anybody knows, can you let us know? We could probably look There's it something up. about it that just seems like it's kind of like calling different ethnic groups in other countries tribal. Right. Rather than saying, like, here, that they're just eth- different right. ethnic groups. Right. Like, right. there's right. something about it that gets me. But okay. anyway. So anyway, so he's accused of having, was suspected of having these affairs with these women. So he was taking a nap one night, which I don't know. I understand said, why it's a nap sleep? and not going to sleep. That's, that's, that's what I was saying. Understand understand like, like, do they nap at night and sleep when they have little points in the day? I don't know. But, but anyway, four men burst into his home and made off with his penis. Yes, it's, they, they but, stole it. But this is what I don't understand. I don't think I object to the use, use of the um, adjective or the verb burst because um, he didn't wake up. No, he. Only, it's only when he woke up from his nap and he was like, "Oh, my penis is gone." Yes, he and didn't realize. Blood. Four men bur- came into his so home. So four men snuck. Yes, <laughs> crept. Yes, and snipped his dick <laughs> off. Took it right clean off. Shouldn't you wake up? I think you should wake up. And he said he was so shocked. I did. I was so shocked. I didn't feel a thing. Then I saw I was bleeding and my penis was gone. Mm-hmm. And I, I guess they looked for it and they couldn't find it. No. And they couldn't figure out where the men went. And then um, he denies that he's been getting busy with his neighbor's wives. But, but the police, this is what I found interesting and very unsympathetic. Yeah, no, everybody seems to, the attitude doesn't seem to be like, well. Yeah, well, the police were like, well, they came in here and they stole your penis for some reason. Can you give us a reason? Can you give us a reason? Like, it's why is the burden on him? Yeah. <laughs> He's the one missing his He's penisless. But he doesn't even seem that upset about it. No. And this is the this is the thing why we need this to be a show because I need I need somebody to contact this person. I need somebody. I, I need Skype. to go to China. I want to at least Skype yes. with him. Yes. Somebody somebody bicycle a fucking iPad into <laughs> um this village because I want to ask. Okay, you don't from this article. It does not seem that you're upset. No. He's kind of like, well, you know, I lost my penis. Yeah. Kind of like I broke a nail. Yeah. I've been more upset over breaking a nail. I know. Then he seems to be over this. And I also need to, what I do like about it, though, and this mm. is where I'm going to say it is, I like the proactive nature of it. I like the community nature of I it. Love I love it. The, like, the guys get together and they're like, look, <laughs> Fei Lin, he just brings it. The ladies yeah. are helpless. They are. Um, they can't, I'm, I can't blame my wife. Your wife, your wife, your, your wife. wife. Uh, they We're fall, all in the same situation. We're all in the same situation with, with Massacock mm. over there. <laughs> and <laughs> we got, we got to get him. I don't know what else to do. And then somebody said, you know what? He wouldn't be shit without that dick. Yeah. <laughs> and somebody <laughs> and went, like, Let's get rid of it. Yep. And they had just enough rice wine. Yeah. <laughs> Sake. <laughs> well, they're saying village, right? Just enough um, 
or whatever. Well, some opium. is in Japan, and that's in Japan. I'm, it's, I, I'm just, it. they're all Asian. Yes. So I'm just okay. so racist. Oh, that was just really racist. It's awful. So, but so they they went and they went and took his penis, <laughs> and I think that they feel like this will solve the problem. Yes. They didn't kill him. They did not kill him. They didn't publicly shame him exactly. But what they did was they eradicated the problem, and I kind of yeah. like that. It's very specific. Very specifically. They didn't beat the shit out of no. him. No. They just took away the thing that was disturbing their marriage. <laughs> And so that he and can't now, disturb another marriage. And then he got home and they went, yeah, you can go over to Fay Liz if you want. You ain't got no dad. <laughs> yeah. I'm not worried about Don't you being there. Stay all night. Y'all can rub up smooth parts <laughs> all you want. <laughs> Get on in there. <laughs> I cut that shit down to the quick. It's only fun. <laughs> uh, I mean, oh, it is a penis. It is. <laughs> so, all right. Well, we, you know that what? We good. gave good we job, gave Captain El Hesiano. Finland. What's his name? Finland. Finland. We gave sad. his more pe- his penis more attention than he did. <laughs> That's true. I watched my song. joke a little bit more than that. <laughs> I feel like. I mean, it's not as easy to cut off, but it's <laughs> you know. <laughs> anyway, um, next up, this is from Private. Is Jax a private? I guess so. Mm. Um, I feel like this is wrong, but I guess so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, no, well you're good. later on in the future, you get promoted. Yeah. Um, private Jax McShark and Corporal Stephen M. and Anne Roll Robert M. and Staff Sergeant Catherine B. Mm-hmm. Man sets fire to home. Yeah. How? Microwaving his socks and his undies. Now, London. Look, I'm liking the international flavor of we today's do. podcast. We do. <laughs> Okay, I have a couple of issues flavor. here. No. <laughs> spicy for us. Spicy. London. London. Nobody thinks of London that way. No, they don't. It's not like it's Brazil. No. Brazil. Brazil. Uh, <laughs> what is that? That's just for you. You want to say Laos for her? Yeah. She's from Laos. I don't know. I can't say it. Not say it like that. And I'm sorry. I can't. Laos. We're gonna get in trouble. Okay. Anyway, yes, we are. Um, so what he did is British firefighters, which that sounds like, a, don't they sound like they'd be ineffectual? I know. British no, 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 a fire. <laughs> Why are we being so xenophobic <laughs> today? Ow. All right. Um, basically, they saved an apartment from destruction after they uh, the resident. They were called because the resident, the man, he put wet socks and underwear in the microwave to dry them. Okay, this is what I was told, and I don't know if you've ever heard this. I was told that you, I've never done it, but that women could put their underwear in the microwave to kill any bacteria. Now, okay, 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 okay. I'm serious. First of all, who told you this and what were the circumstances under <laughs> no, which any bacteria news. was the subject? Okay, no, I've heard it on television. I've heard it like in the news. There was a special years report ago. about rampant any bacteria. Years ago, like in the 90s, that you could kill, like the way you put a sponge okay, in, in the way you could put a sponge in the microwave okay, to kill though. bacteria. What about your panty bacteria would require I more I've than never washing? Done it. <laughs> more than the normal washing in a washing machine. I guess some women have some issues. <laughs> Wouldn't they rubbing their shit on the normal? <laughs> like what is it that you need to microwave? I, I have a Wear a panty liner. What's going go to a doctor? <laughs> Get a pap smear. What is going on? I don't know, but okay. Somebody write us about this. Oh, you this. know what? Thank you. Who sent us the Kool Aid? That's your little friends. Those are your little friends. Entropy Girl. Yes. And um, um, somebody sent us. I'll, I'll remember in a second. Somebody sent us the, the video too. Yes. Thank but you. Entropy Girl with your. Oh, she's like. Oh, you think your little miss dye in your Kool Aid, your hair with Kool Aid. Yes. But in any case, uh, you can't. Okay, let's just go over this again. I'm sorry. If if the, if the device is in the kitchen, use it in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. If it's in the garage, use it in the garage. If it's in the basement. Ask someone. Okay, but I, you know what? <laughs> like, I would not have thought. I don't know what the pants, underwear, and socks were made This is my of. problem with this. Microwaves, I, if you use a microwave at all, and of course we were judges on a quick fire microwave breakfast challenge on Top, Top Chef, Chef Masters. Yeah. So we do know. Yeah, we do. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. So, so weird. Um, microwave is not a good way to dry things. No. It makes them hot. Yeah. But not necessarily dry. I think the dry. oven would have been better. The oven would be a much better choice. But the problem is, how long does it take to have something catch on fire in the microwave? Well, this is the problem. It's the same issue I have about cooking. Cooking is an active process. You have to sit there and watch. You have to watch If you're it. going to use, the, <laughs> use an appliance improperly, be there and watch it. Yes. No, you can't dry things in the microwave. Okay. 
I know you can't drop, but I want to let this bacteria thing. I don't want to. I don't want to know about it. I just. I don't understand this conversation you oh, had. I don't know where kill you us. were. We're I know. so. We're so. This is the last one. Last one. This woman. I. Just give her a makeover. If there's anybody in the area, okay. Uh, I'm so Memphis. Sorry for I do too. She looks I think this is from General Dam Supply too. Is it from General Dam? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, four star General Dam Supply. Mm -hmm. Police arrest niece after aunt recognizes stolen jewelry at family funeral. Isn't that sad? I don't. Jerica. Jerica. Oh, you think it's Jerica? Oh, you're right, it's Jerica. It's Jerica. Jerica Boyce, 25, her aunt noticed, allegedly, at a family funeral, she noticed Jerica wearing some jewelry that had been missing from her home. Yes. The aunt's home. Yes. During a burglary, burglary a month before, nearly $6,000 worth of goods had been stolen from mm -hmm. Estine Boyce's home. Yes. Including the jewelry that she saw on her goddamn niece. Yeah. Her niece. Yeah, so she voices the suspicions. Jerry, Jer Jerica. Jerry. That is my necklace, Jerica. How you know? Um, mm, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Um, yeah. We, her body into heaven. That is my necklace, yeah. Jerica. Yeah, that's, that's what she had to what do. Happened. That was a reenactment. Um, which prompted members, so she voices the suspicions uh, following the funeral. Family members called a pawn shop, okay? And they find the other stuff. Yeah. Because people never are smart enough to not pawn things within five minutes of their own home. That's right. If you're here, here's my problem. You can't steal from family and then wear the shit you stole in front of them. And at a funeral. You're not, and not, it's not the dead person. At first, I thought it was the dead, dead person's person stuff, me too. and I was like, but no, the bit, the woman Bitch is alive. alive. She alive. Sharika, you, you an idiot. You're an idiot. And then we may be talking about you on Friday. Mm. I'm Angela Michelle. I'm Francis Callion. We're Frangelo. It is the week. Week. Week, 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 week. Oh, my goodness.